Hello, I'm Haven13, and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships Season 7, Week 2, Round 3. So far, we are undefeated, 5-0, and and we are going for 6-0 and here. Uh, let's see who we're matched up against. Today, it is JP. So, let's look at the matchup. So if we look at the Grand Arena stats, you can see that I am got him beat on lifetime banners, offensive wins, undersized wins. He doesn't go undersized very often. Uh, he does have a lot of defensive wins, and um, we're very close on banners. But when you look at total zones and rounds, it's clear that he tends to go a little more defensive heavy, and maybe doesn't keep as much for offense. When you look at the relics, you'll see that I out-relic him by quite a bit. I have 13 relics, or 12 relics, and he's got four. So while our GPs are very similar, and he actually has me a little beat on our top 80 tunes, uh, I have more G13s. When evaluating our rosters, we're very close on Zetas. But you can see he's got nearly double, actually more than double, G12 characters than I do. But I have the advantage on G13. I also have a few more six dot mods, but he actually outspeeds me, which is a rarity for me. Usually uh, I have a speed advantage, so we'll see how that plays out as well. Okay, let's look at the map. Well, all that scouting seemed to be wrong because he cleared my whole board. And if you look here, I made a huge mistake. In scouting my opponent, I noticed that he had a hard time clearing Darth Revan's and my Darth Revan and my Bastila and my Malak are all faster than his. So I thought, put my arena team right there up front and he wouldn't be able to clear them. But in subbing out my Marauder for my Sith Trooper to make him harder to beat, I accidentally took out Bastila instead. So he was able to one-shot my Revan team and thus not waste a bunch of teams. I put my Grievous back here, one-shot that. I put my Ewoks on defense, but I put 3PO in there instead of uh, Logray because then you can't solo with Ness. He was also able to go through all of my teams up here, my Kylo Ren, my Newt squad, and my Night Sisters. One shot all of them. If we look at the ships, you can see also one shot my Tarkin with bugs. So full clear, but he wasn't very efficient. 1875 is not a great score for one shots. He left me a crew team and a Bosque Bounty Hunters along with Night Sisters. Uh, I have plans for all of these. You can see they're almost all pure G12 because he has a ton of them. All right, if we look at the bottom section here, he's put CLS out front and an Ewok team. So if you've watched my videos before, you know what that Ewok team means. It's time to solo with Ness. And as usual, I'll go ahead and speed this up. Um, so interesting, I'm somebody who always solos Ewoks with Nest, and yet I put my Ewoks on defense. So let me try to explain what happened with that. Uh, if you take out Logre out of your Ewok team, then you don't have a chance to daze a Nest. But the reality is, if somebody's coming at solo uh, your Ewoks with their Nest, it's probably a slow high tenacity nest like mine is and she's not going to get stunned anyway so if you can take out low gray and insert c3po 3po will go into stealth so uh, he's not going to get hit by nest and he'll put confuse on nest over and over making her easier to take damage but more importantly stop her from counterattacking. and so it's not unheard of at all for a nest to time out on that but this was a normal Ewok team. My nest took care of them, no problem. Uh, 63 banners. For this CLS team, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Jedi Knight Revan and I'll take Hermit Yoda out because I don't think I need him. The reason I like JKR against CLS is just in case that Han gets a couple big crits and takes somebody out, I hate to bring a different team in there and lose somebody on the open opening volley. At least with 
Jedi Knight Revan, I know uh, the worst case scenario is Survivor gets procced and my Jedi comes back and then I'm able to move on and win the battle anyway. So I took out Chewie first. Now I'm just wondering if I should go after Han or after uh, Luke. And luckily, because they have um, C-3PO in there, every time my Grandmaster Yoda goes to take his big hit and seal their buff, he gets to go invisible. So I can just tear him down with uh, Yoda without worrying about counterattacks. Actually, very nice. Here I'm just making sure, seeing if I can heal up as much as possible, get some protection back on everybody, trying to decide who to call for uh, assist. And I just decide it's good enough. 58 is fine. All right, so that opens up the back. Let's see what they have for me back there. And it is a Shock T clones and a Karth squad. So we'll go back to the front section and take these ones out. Of the squads that are up here and left, I think the Night Sisters probably pose the biggest um, threat. Now, lately I've been using my Bosque team against the Night Sisters, but since I made the screw up and I have uh, Dark Vassala on this squad anyway, I might as well use her. So I decided to take my EP Trio team with Vassala and I'm just trying to get as many debuffs on there and get the turn meter train going, get as many stuns as I can. I isolate Zombie so that uh, she's not constantly taunting. And here I'm just passing the damage around, trying not to kill anybody to proc Zombie. And I'm just waiting for Niles to get his Annihilate off. I find this team so versatile. I didn't, I for a while I was running it on uh, defense, uh, but thanks to my brother, uh, he was showed me that it could be really versatile on offense, and, and now you pretty much kill anybody with it, uh, it feels like. I know that's not true, but it feels like. So, went ahead and did a big shock there with um, Basil Fallen. Took out a bunch of people, got rid of all of the zombie revives, and now it's just clean up. I don't think there's any way I can get any uh, protection or health back, so I just end it as quick as I can. They got a little more uh, hits than I was hoping for and Talzin got the plague off. In the end, 56, not amazing. And frankly, I was hoping to get more out of that team than 56, but we will move on. Now we will take the crew team out. So I'm gonna use my Ray Jedi training for that. Just a standard counter. Do my best to wave and roll and control. The first order TIE pilot it seemed the squishiest, so I decided we'd just take him out quickly. Next I'd like to go for Fox, but the first order stormtrooper is taunting. So decide to go ahead and move over to him. Thankfully got the stun, but it quickly went away, so I'm gonna go ahead and wave uh, Kylo away, move back on the Stormtrooper, and honestly I didn't even notice that he lost his buff, his uh, taunt there, but as soon as I did I moved over to Fox to try and take him out. Moved over to crew to get a stun off on him, making sure he doesn't get his big stun off. And Dick Gray here will take Fox out. Illuminated Destiny comes up, and we are close to the end already. Tried to get a stun there, but he dodged. So I decide I'm gonna take crew out first. And he goes down fast. And finally, original Kylo. Lots of dodges.
Now, unfortunately, uh, I'm thinking here, can I extend the battle a little bit and try and get Ray's protection back with another Illuminated Destiny, but it just, he goes down too fast. One more team here, and that's the Bosque Bounty Hunters, so I decide that I'm gonna take my Geos. They're not great, gear 10-ish, but against the Bounty Hunters, it doesn't really matter. I always forget which one summons the uh, Brute and which one is the other ability. So it seems like every match I have to check. Um, so at this point, you're just swarming them down and they go down pretty quick under all of these Geonosians attacks. I've never faced a super high relic boss team with them. Uh, but I have taken out some low relic boss teams, even though they're only gear 10, and they still do a really, really good job. And because almost all of the enemy attacks are coming in on our brute, it allows me to get decent banners pretty much every time. Here we're just gonna take out Bosk, hopefully get a heal up and cleanse off these uh, bombs, or they'll go off. And there goes Bosk. I'm hoping to get a heal here. And a do right at the end. And because of that heal, we end up with a 60. So beautiful, exactly the way I planned it. All right, let us look at what he left for me in the ships. And it's a negotiator. So let's go down and take out the other two teams and let's take out the Shakti clones first. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my Padme squad. And for some reason, I felt like since I had Thrawn and I knew I wasn't gonna use him for anything else, why not throw him in? I wasn't worried about, uh, there's no feats for undersize and I figured it worst case scenario, I could fracture either Rex or Fives or Shakti. Pretty much here, I just am trying to get Shakti down as fast as I can uh, because she hands out all the good buffs to the clones, including the Retribution. So I decide, since Shakti is going to go down first, that I'd Fracture Rex, try and postpone the Rexecute at 18 uh, Courage. So I figured I'll just take out Shakti and then Fives, and now it's nearly over. Unfortunately, because Thrawn's in there, and he's not getting all the protection up from Padme. Uh, he is gonna be a bit of a, a banner drain on my team, but I'm not too worried about it. And if nothing else, he can pass around a little turn meter, get a little more uh, protection back as well for others. And there we go. So 57, not great, but nobody was ever in danger. Finally, our last squad, this cart squad, I'm gonna go in with CLS plus old Ben. And this isn't even the best geared or anything. Cart squad, it should go down pretty fast. So we'll take out mission before it even starts. Chewie will take away the Zalbar taunt and Luke will take out Candorus. Rather than deal with the taunt and trying to dispel it at this point, just decide I'm going to kill Zalbar. Again, not super well uh, geared. I'm a little bummed that I've been lo I'm losing some protection there from the counterattacks. We'll see how much of it I can get back. But they're going down too fast, and so obviously Han's not going to get it back. Still get a 60 because we went in shorthanded. So that does it for all of the teams. Now I just have the ships to do. And I feel like if I just clear the ships, I should win. But there's my problem. Ships again. I kept my negotiator, but you can see my negotiator is only five stars. My Anakin is still not seven stars. I'm only a couple fragments left. He actually should be seven 
for the next GAC. But on these matches where he doesn't even have Hound's Tooth, and I feel like I should win fairly easily, uh, I'm still having problems. And part of that is right there, he gets the ability block off of my Hound's Tooth, so even when I go to taunt, it doesn't work. Ahsoka's out of the battle super quick. At this point, I'm just hoping I can take a couple down with me, because I don't think I'm going to win at this point. But as you can see, they had just done the um, buff, so they're not going to die. And I stupidly shoot at Anakin anyway, and get taken out for my troubles. Here I figured, let me take in fives and try and do a big hit. But I targeted Anakin instead of targeting fives, so that was useless as well. Just a brutally, terribly played Grand Arena um, ship battle by me. And the RNG didn't go especially my way either, but mostly just bad play. And my ships need work. They're just not as good as they need to be. So he is looking to put me out of my misery and I didn't even get a single ship down. Here I'm thinking about healing with Plo but I think maybe if I get my taunt up I can keep fives around long enough to take either Ahsoka or Anakin out but he sends in the Y-Wings and it is over. So that's horrible. And it is time to regroup. He dropped one battle against my Shakti clones. So now I've dropped one battle against ships. If I can beat him uh, on this one, I've got a good chance of winning because I feel like I was fairly efficient on most of my battles. And it looked, based on his score, that he wasn't. So I kept my Akbar fleet because I know my negotiator sometimes fails me, or I fail it. Uh, but he still has all his um, ships available, so I'm, at this point I brought my Biston in, even though my Biston is not well geared, hoping that Biston will go soon enough to get my taunt up there on Biggs, which it did, and I'm in business. I'm hoping here that this AoE takes out Anakin and it comes close but doesn't quite get it. He brings in Clone Sergeant and I'm gonna hit it with my Falcon and then again with Biggs and luckily I'm able with the assist I'm able to take it out pretty quickly. Anakin just went and exposed himself to some damage so I'm gonna go ahead and take him out and things are going so well here with my Millennium Falcon fleet that I'm thinking Maybe I should just use them as my first option instead of my negotiator. I have, instead of putting resources into the negotiator fleet, I've been putting resources into getting the malevolence, which is great when I do get it, but for now, it's leaving my negotiator behind. I get the win here, 39 points. Let's see what the final score is. And yes, 1904, not a great score, but good enough for the win. He dropped a battle, I dropped a battle. Uh, overall, 6-0, very happy with the win. Thank you, JP, and thank you for everybody who watched this, and I will see you next time.